So I'm gonna export a new function. So I'm gonna do const and we're gonna call it get patient. So it's gonna be the function name and then it's gonna be an error function and it's gonna take the response, well actually the request first. So the request and then the response. And then we're gonna have the function just like that. So here we're gonna go inside and then work on the function. So the first thing I wanna do is log onto the console that I'm fetching some data. So we're gonna call the logger and then uh, call the info on the logger. And then here we're gonna pass in some information. And what I wanna pass is the request method in the origin. So I'm gonna put two backtick and then I'm gonna put dollar sign opening and close curly braces. And then in here, we're gonna access the request. So I'm gonna say request that, and we need to get the method. So we're gonna say method so that we know the method. And I'm gonna put a space and then I'm gonna do the same thing again. So dollar sign opening and close curly braces. And then I'm gonna do request and then we need to get the original URL. So I'm gonna do original URL. And then I'm gonna put a comma and say something like fetching patients, for example, right? Just so we know what's happening. So that's just gonna be our logger. So we're just gonna log the request method and then the original URL. And then we're gonna say fetching patients so that we know which function is being called. And then on the next line, I'm gonna call the database. So I'm gonna do database and then we need to pass it a query. So I'm gonna say query. And then in here, I'm gonna call the query that we define. So our query and capital letters. And then we want to get the select patient. So I'm gonna say select underscore patients. And then after we pass in the query, we're gonna take either an error or a result. So I'm gonna say, oops, error and then results. So that's the result of the call. And then we're gonna pass another callback function. So I'm gonna put equal sign, greater than sign. And then in here is where we're gonna put all of the logic. And what I wanna do first is to check to see if I have any result. So I'm gonna say, if there is no result, so we're gonna say results. Then what we're going to do is to send a status and then say that we didn't find any patient. So we're gonna access the response on the request and then we're gonna pass in a status. And again, we're gonna call the HTTP status and let's pass in no content because we didn't find anything. So no underscore content and we need the code for that. So we're gonna say code and then we need to pass in the actual response or the body of the response and then we're gonna say send. And then in here, we're gonna create a new response. So I'm gonna say no response and then pass in the HTTP status again. So HTTP status, no content, that code. Oops, that's supposed to be lowercase. So code, and then we're gonna access the HTTP status again, no content, and then get the status, oops. So get the status, and then we're gonna pass in a message. So the message is going to be no uh, patients found, for example because we didn't find any patient. And in here, we're gonna close this and I'm gonna see if I can put this on a new line so you guys can see it. Let's go over to the first second dot right here. I'm just gonna put this on a new line and then save it. So all we're doing is checking to see if we don't have any result. So if we don't have any result, we're gonna send a no content. Well, actually, we're actually sending something. You can see we're sending something here. So maybe not no content. We're gonna change this to okay. So I'm gonna delete all this and then change this to a K. So I'm gonna say K and I'm gonna copy it and go down and then paste it here. And then remove all the stuff and do the same here and then delete content. So instead of a no content, we're actually gonna send an okay because we're actually sending something in the body with the send as you see we're doing here on line 20. Now I'm gonna go down and then if this is not the case, we're gonna have an else statement. That means we have something in the response. So after the query is performed, we actually have some results that got back to us. Then we're gonna send a different response. So let's go ahead and copy this line. I'm gonna copy these two lines and then go down here and then paste it. Then remove this empty line. So the status is also gonna be okay. And we need to change the message. So let's go over to the message. And this time what we're going to do is we're gonna say something like patient retrieved because we got some patient. And then this time we need to pass in the data. So the data is gonna be an object. So I'm gonna put opening and close curly braces and I'm gonna give it a key of patients and then pass in the results just like that. Let's go back to the beginning and this is going off the screen. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so you guys can see. Oh, maybe that's too small. So here's the function that we created. The first thing we do is 
we're logging some information. So we're getting the method, the original URL, and then we say fetching patients so that we know we're fetching patients. We execute the query. So we call the database and then pass in the query, which is going to be select all the patients. And then we have a callback function for that where we're going to accept an error or results. Result is going to be just the result of the query. Error is just going to be any error that SQL throws at us. And on the next line, we're checking to see if we don't have any results. So if we don't have any results, we're just going to send this response. We're just going to say we didn't find any patient and then we send an OK. Otherwise, we which means we have some response. Then we're going to send this response. We're just going to say it's on HTTP OK. And then we pass in the message in the patients, which is going to be the data, as you can see at the very end. And that's all we have to do.